Hey guys, happy Friday. Hope everyone had a sweet week and has a wonderful weekend coming up. Today I wanted to share a quick power app uh, tip on using SVGs for icons. And so what I'm gonna show you is how to add those in there and be able to update the colors and all that funness. First, we have a little bit of my cocktail because I'm quite parched. Okay, now we can go. So, within Power Apps, there's obviously the icons control you can use. This is great because you can control the, you know, the color, the hover color, the press color, all that, and it's super simple to use. But sometimes, you know, not all the icons you need are here. And uh, sometimes what I see people do is they import a PNG image and you can do that, but you can only control so much with that. You can't change the colors or anything like that. And so that's why SVGs are so great. What I use is a site um, that has all these open source icons by Ionic. The site is uh, ioniccons.com. And so you get all these open source icons that you can download and they're all SVGs and you can download the designer pack, which gives you a zip file with all of them in here. And you'll see there's different styles for um, outline, filled, and sharp. And so what's great about SVGs is, like I said, um, you can control them unlike an image. So here I have two examples where I can change the color and I can switch my style from outline to filled. And so super easy uh, to use and I can have it be dynamic. So to get started, uh, once you download those, you can go ahead and pick any, you know, icon you want to use. And so let's that's kind of a boring one. Uh, let's do this one. What I do first is you can use any kind of text editor, but I just open it in Visual Studio Code. So I can replace all the quotation marks with a single quote, because uh, otherwise I won't be able to put into Power Apps. So I'll go ahead and replace that. And now let me select all and copy it. So now what I'll do is go ahead and um, insert an image within that image property, I'm gonna paste this code. I'm gonna get that red error. What I have to add in the beginning of it is this code right here. So I can go ahead, I'm gonna just copy this. Nope, don't wanna do that. And I can paste it in the front. So what I have here is this Quotation mark, data, image, SVG, XML, UTF-8. So you can copy and paste that and then we're using the encode URL. And so I put a quotation right before that SVG code and then close it with a quotation and then close it out. And so now it's really easy because all you have to do is remember is to have this in the beginning and then you can paste in that SVG code you get from the icons and I'll see my icon here and it is responsive so I can change this sizing simply without having to edit the actual code in here. Now for changing up the colors, what you can do is you'll see um, where the hex value is. So you can just manually put your own hex value in here, but if you want to you know, be able to easily control the colors if you switch or anything, you can use, you know, um, global variables, what I'm using for this example is just a gallery to select the color. So what I'm gonna do is put a quotation and my gallery is called gal colors dot selected. And this is just, a, this has just a bunch of hex values in it. Value, I'm gonna do and, and then close with the quotation mark over here. And now I can go ahead and copy this guy and paste it anywhere where I have a color noted in here. Let me see if there's any more. It's just those two. An easy way to find out is when you look at your icon, it should all be the same color. And so there you go. Now it is connected to these hex colors here. So I can go ahead and switch between them. Super simple, uh, gives you now opportunity to have all these range of icons you can use in your apps and you can put this into you can probably make a component for this in order to make it a lot simpler so you don't have to edit them every time uh, but you can see it is pretty quick and easy to put these in now 
what I have going on here, switching over from outlined and filled. All I really did here is I use switch. So when outline selected, I have the outline code here. And then when filled selected, I have the filled code there as well. Super simple. Um, hope you guys found this helpful and can't wait to see what icons you guys put into your power apps. Talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend. Bye.